Lately, it seems like every ad platform is releasing their version of an ad library. We just had a video talking about it with LinkedIn. You can check theirs out up here. But today, we're talking about the newly announced Reddit Ads Asset Inspiration Library. In this video, we will show you what you can research and where to find this library, and also to give you some ideas of what to inspire you in terms of how you can use the creative either on Reddit or potentially other social platforms. Here we are at the Reddit Ads Inspiration Library. I know you can't see the URL on the screen right now, but I have it in the video description. We're at ads.reddit.com slash inspiration. And really the point of this video is just for me to show you what this tool can do. So I'm just going to run through a few different scenarios so you can see how you may want to use this within Reddit itself, or maybe you can use this tool to help with other social platforms. I already mentioned that we have other videos about the LinkedIn ads library, the Facebook ads library, but maybe your competitors or similar advertisers aren't advertising on those platforms. Well, if you can find something on Reddit, maybe you can still use it as inspiration on what you can do on other paid social platforms. We'll see. But the first thing that we can do is start searching. So I'm just going to type in a keyword, love me some coffee. So I just type that in and we see that Reddit is showing us 60 ads active within the past year. You can just scroll down and right away you get pretty good visuals of what other advertisers are doing as well as the copy that they are using. We also see a mix of ad formats. We have video here, single image here, and we also see a mix of placements between the main feed as well as potentially some conversation placements. And we're also getting an understanding of the call to action that these advertisers are using. If you're not really familiar with Reddit, they do have different ad specs than most of the other platforms. You can say a lot more clearly in this one. I do have another video about Reddit ad specs, so you can get a better understanding. You can check that one out here. But if I go back up, which one should I choose? Let's look at Scooter's Coffee. If I highlight over it, we can do a few things. I can just copy the link, head up to a new tab or browser, there, I pasted it in there, and now we can get a bigger view of what this ad looks like. Going back, highlighting over, you can actually view the post, but viewing the post is literally going to take you to the same link that we looked at. So a couple ways that you can share it with other members of your team or your clients. Now here's one of the main features of the ad library for Reddit is viewing the details. You can do this for any single ad that you want to go into. Reddit will give you some specific details about the ad and the campaign. What I mean by that is we get to see what campaign objective this advertiser is using. This one was pretty easy to tell, but we still get the ad format this one was using, what Reddit considers their ad budget to be, I believe it's low, average, or high, and then industry. When we look at other ads and other ways that you can search, I'll show you what the industry options are. But within this main feature, Reddit is using some AI tools to give you three best practices that this particular ad is using. So in this case, Reddit likes that they're using the brand name in the headline, that they're using a benefit-driven call to action. As we can see, AI doesn't get everything perfect. It is what it is. We still get the idea. And then the last best practice that Reddit says this ad is using is a community focus because it says your community within the ad copy. So that's just one example. Let's head back. And I literally hit the back button and it didn't save my coffee. Probably did something wrong. But this gives us an opportunity to look at the other ways that you can use the ads library. Here's what I was talking about earlier. You can look by specific industries. So there's retail, e-commerce, B2B, B2C, some very higher level options. Let me go back up. We're typically B2B. There we see these options have refreshed. Okay, but we can get down a little bit further. Let's look at the budget options. Low, medium, high. Earlier I said average. Okay, maybe we can choose a medium budget typically in line with what the clients Michelle and I currently have. Ad formats? Maybe you've never tried video on the platform before and you want to see what other advertisers using video in your space are doing. You can filter by the ad type. Or the flip side, maybe you know you're just not going to get video, so you don't care to see what other people running video ads in your space are doing, then just choose image or carousel. I'm going to leave it as is. Placements? If you only want to see main feed, that's fine. And if you want to look by a specific campaign objective, all of these are what we saw in that first coffee ad. So here's another way to separate video views. If you do promote an app, see what other app promotion campaigns are out there. But already you may get some ideas of what to do or not to do. And some of the stuff should be caught up in the ad preview before we even launch. But if we see this example, odds are this advertiser had a really small image and Reddit is really trying to stretch it out. It's definitely going to be a main feed ad here. It's a good wake up call to double check your ad specs and what Reddit recommends you should have to make sure you have them ready before you even promote on Reddit so people don't eat you up. 
And we can scroll down some options here. We see an example of a carousel ad. So I can't go through it right here. I can open it in a different window. Here's some AI tech using Leonardo DiCaprio. I wonder if he'd be okay with that, but now we can actually go through. It is a little silly, but a lot of people do like to use humor on Reddit. So this is a good way to see even what kind of tone other advertisers are using. And there we see that image varieties in here are different. This looks like a basic logo. These three up here really look like they're taking the LinkedIn style effect with it. We have other humor here. Someone's posting memes. Yes, even though you add an image, sometimes your ads just show up only with the text. Keep that in mind too. So when we see options here, it doesn't really tell me much if I'm only seeing the text. It might give you an idea of potentially what not to do. But again, we really can't tell if this is actually working or not. Do you want to go back up? Let's choose a different space. Okay, which option should I choose? Okay, let's look if you were selling features for pickup trucks. We can actually look at the ad again. And here's where you'll actually be able to watch the video. So from a video side, you'll be able to see what creative that they're using. Clearly a vertical style video, more user generated, that whole type of thing. But I want to go back and actually look at the ad. I want to look at a few more of the best practices in a couple different ads. So you can see some of the things that Reddit mentions of what they consider a best practice. So call to action. That is something we got a little bit worded differently in the first option. This is new a value proposition, pushing the simplicity and ships this week. Do you think that's a great feature? Don't know if the title of this is accurate. Scarcity doesn't think it really applies. There's no mention that there's only a few left, but I think it does push the urgency. Here's where I missed before. Here's the back button. Don't click back button on your browser. You'll lose all the filters. But even when I did, I still lost the filters. Let's go back to coffee. Coffee never fails me. We see a few options here. Using emojis and ad copy. Also allowed on Reddit, so if it's something you've never tested before, maybe this can give you some inspiration. Let's look at the details on this one. Here we get a few new ones. While it's another mention of a call to action, it's a different variant of it. Reddit is calling out the action focus call to headline as well as including the brand name for recognition. Kind of falls in line with the other AI generated best practice, calling out a limited time offer. Now to me, this is the scarcity and urgency that fits with the other call out from the other ad. Whatever, still a good recommendation. And Reddit's also calling out here that it likes humor and brand recognition. And since I already learned my lesson that the back button doesn't mean anything, I have a couple tabs open. This example falls under consumer packaged goods. Couple familiar ones, brand name in the headline, but this one's flat out calling out humor. See, even AI likes a good pun. And there we see clarity. Easy to understand, potentially really easy for the fast paced environment of Reddit. Getting straight to the point. Let's look at one more. Okay, maybe a couple more. This one in the auto industry, few familiar ones, clear CTA, brand name inclusion, but this benefit focused one is new. And I will give this ad credit. We really see it in the ad text and within the image itself. No matter what the tone is, the verbal message is crystal clear. And then this is in other industry for baseball card authentication, another brand and CTA in the headline, but the new one here is communicating features and benefits. So I think with all the examples that we've seen, calling out brand name and having a clear CTA, not just the CTA that you're forced to use, one that you actually include in your ad copy is pretty important on Reddit since it does show up a lot. Hopefully it's something that you're already testing out in all of your ad copy anyway. And here's one last tactic that I do want to talk about because it's going to be different than the other asset libraries in the other paid social platforms. And that is searching for a specific brand. That's not really an option here, even though I kind of did it on the page. In order to find this specific brand, I had to have the brand name that matched their actual username. If I put a space in between metal and dash, this option didn't show up. So it's not like Facebook or LinkedIn where you can find a specific brand and see all the ads that that brand has run within the past certain amount of days or year, whatever. So you kind of have to go on Reddit, see if the brand is on there, type in the brand username up here and see potentially what might show up. So competitive research is kind of an option, but it's a lot harder to do. I think it's a reason why this option is called inspiration and not just a flat out ads library. It's a pretty simple tool, but it can still be helpful, especially if you're new to Reddit. So check out the link again. It's in the video description where you can find this page and start exploring what other brands in your space are doing to get an idea of either what you may want to try or potentially what not to do. If you have any other questions, please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. 
if you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button.